in today's video, I'm going to be building a foot draft, but I can only see the nationalities of the players I'm drafting. We got to choose the captain of our team, but I literally only know their nationality. I think this one's Erling Holland. This one could be Ronaldo. Oh, I see some outline of the card. So this could be a crazy one. Maybe Ronaldo. This could be Mbappe. Who knows? But yeah, this is how I'm going to have to build my team. I think for the captain, I'm going to go for this one because the Brazil flag is kind of out of position. That maybe is because it's an icon card. Yeah, let's lock in this one. Let's go. It's Pele. And yo, I was right. This one was Ronaldo. But hey, I could only see the nation and we're picking Pele for the team. We're going to have to pick every player of the squad like this by just knowing their nationalities. The goal is to try and build an 87 rated foot draft. We're going to give ourselves three attempts to build this 87 rated draft. But every time I fail, I'm going to have to spend FIFA points and open an ultimate pack and discard whatever I get. All right, boys, let's pick the striker next. Okay, I have no idea what it could be. Bro, this looks like I don't even recognize this flag. Belgium could be good. Do we want to go Argentinian? None of these cards look like a special card as well. Bro, I think I think we're in the mud with this one. I'm just wondering who has the highest rating, man. That's kind of what we need. Let, let's go with Portugal because I have a sneaky feeling it could be Ronaldo. Oh, it's Goncalo Ramos. Not gonna like Kundanan and G would probably be good, but I guess we're going with Goncalo Ramos. Next up, we're picking our left midfielder and uh, it's so tough to figure out if these are any good players. Like we've got three Spanish flags. They can literally be anyone, but I don't think there's any good left midfielder that's Spanish, you know, but we're not going Japanese. Nigerian? Now nah, we're just gonna have to ride our luck with this. I I'll go with this one. Bro, oh, these were all stinky picks. And that's what I'm saying. Getting an 87 rated squad is not gonna be easy. I think we got really lucky with Pele. Let's pick our right midfielder now. Uh, I don't think any of the cards are anything special. Do we want to go English? Brazilian though. We've got good luck with Pele. So I think I want to go Brazilian just because of that. Oh, it's David Neres. To be fair, all of these picks were really bad. Neres is, I guess, fine. Do you know what? The luck in the first team has kind of run out, especially after we got Pele. Let's pick our reserves. First reserves player. And ooh, the Norwegian flag always gets me excited because it could be someone good. But this Argentinian flag looks a bit different. No, 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 no. This is an icon, guys. It's a Portuguese icon. Could be Rui Costa. Yo, we, we're going for this. We're going for this. Oh, and it's you, Sabio. Let's go. Oh, but actually, Holland would have been even better because of the rating. Nah, I can't complain about you, Sabio. Let's put him into the starting 11. Oh, that, that's good. I think we're going to get the rating. Let's see what we've got for the next pick. Oh, another icon, Brazilian as well. I think we've got to go for it. The luck's in. I would have loved to be able to hide the icon part of it, but there's no way to do it fairly with the overlays, man. So yeah, we'll just go with the Brazilian one. And it's actually Jairzinho. Bro, this team that we're building is absolutely crazy. Let's pick our next player. And this time, I think, seeing the Norwegian flag, I, I can't say no, but 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 this card has got some crazy designs around him. Uh, it's it's Poland flag, right? That's the Polish flag. Uh, I'm sorry, Norway. I'm, I'm going for this card because it's something different. I can I can feel it. And uh, it's an 84 rated to Emma. I mean, yeah, we'll take an 84 rated. Reserves have been really lucky for us. And is that going to continue happening? I don't think so. We'll go for this one, Netherlands. Maybe we get a Virgil van Dijk or something. Uh, okay, that's Luke de Jong. That is not Virgil van Dijk. I would have loved to gone for Depay. Oh, well, de Jong it is. We'll be getting in the final reserves pick and... Uh, well, Spanish has not been lucky for us. Maybe Polish will be, because this could be Lewandowski. You never know. Instead, Bruh. it's Mr. Frankowski. Oh my god, I should have just gone for Senegal. We would have had an 88-rated Mane. Instead, I'm picking Frankowski. Okay, we're going back to the main team. Let's see who we get in CDM. Come on, I want to see some icons or something, because they're easy to pick and they help us out. But looks like we're not getting that. What should we go for here? Ah, uh, French, Spanish, Portuguese. You know what? I'm, I'm, I've got a feeling this could be Yaya Tor. I just don't know why. Let's just see if it Bruh. is. Oh, it's Kessie. But you know what? That's the highest rated player among this batch. So we'll take this. Joining Kessie in that CDM role. Who else can we get? What is this? I'm confused. This has got to be like an icon or something. Uh, yeah, because I just don't understand the flag. So we'll go with this one. And I told you it's an icon. The French flag. And we get Makalele. We'll take it. We'll absolutely take Makalele. I had no idea EA had completely juiced for drafts. And they're putting icons in here 
here like crazy. Hopefully, we'll get some for the defense as well. Okay, yeah, I've got no idea who this is. Let's just go France, because you never know, could be a decent one. Oh, it's Diop, and that's the worst one possible. Alongside him, who are we going to get? Do we just go France again? Now, France betrayed me last time. I'm going to go Portuguese. Oh, my God, that's, that's terrible for our back line. Do you know what? We need a bit of a reset on our luck, boys. So, I think I'm going to pick the bench next. This should be our backup goalkeeper, and I think this is going to be Yasin Bonu. Yeah, if, if Bonu is in this pick, the rest of the players should be high rated. I think this one is Chesney. I'm, I'm, I'm like 100% sure this is Chesney. Let's see. Um, Oh, see, I told you guys, I absolutely knew it, it was Chesney, because if there's Bonu in this pick, other players also had to be high rated. A bit of logic right there. We'll pick Chesney, that's fine. To be fair, he's like the lowest rated. Now, nah, Bonu is lower rated, so that's fine. We'll take Chesney. Oh, here I don't know what to take, boys. I really don't know what to take. Should I just go English? Maybe a John Stones or something? Yeah, let's do that and see. Oh, come on. It's Ben White. Bro, the bench has been so far really unlucky and I'm hoping it'll change and I'll go with France here because I, I don't know what else to do. Oh my days. That's three consecutive stinky picks. Bro, I'm going back to the first team now. Come on, let's get a high rated goalkeeper. That's kind of what I want and I don't think we're getting anything high rated here. We'll go with German. Yep, this was a really bad one as well, but we can put Chesney in the first team, so that's fine. Let's see what we can pick for the left back position and uh, oh wait, this looks like a special Ukrainian card or something. Oh, this looks exciting too. I have a feeling this is good. L -l let's go with this. I told you boys, let's go with the highest rated player among the lot. McCabe from Arsenal. We'll pick her. Absolutely. Bro, look at our rating. It's 83. We might actually get to 87. Probably all thanks to Pele and Eusebio. Picking the right back next and we need a big player here. I doubt there's any good Norwegian right back. So I think I'm leaning towards... Uh, oh, this, this card looks something nice. Let's go with American. What an L. What an absolute L. Bro, that first team is 85 rated, man. I need some really good players on the bench. Let's see. Let's put Goncalo Ramos there. To Emma on the bench as well. And still the rating is only 85. Oh, it's 86. It's 86. All we need is a few more good players on this bench and we'll be sorted. Oh, some good players, please. I'm going to trust. Oh, wait. This Turkish flag looks good, but I'm going to trust Brazil. I don't know why Brazil might be good again. It's Fabinho. That counts. 84 rated, but it counts. Highest rated among these players. Players. We need like one really high rated player, man. Like an icon or something would be perfect, but none of these look exciting. But I'll go Portuguese to see what happens. And oh, it's Palhinha. Oh my god. Imagine if I would have gone Belgian. We would have got KDP. That would have been perfect. We get Palhinha. Bro, the rating is now down to 85. We need two ratings with these last couple of picks. Okay, I think I think we gotta go with this Uruguayan flag. It's probably an icon or a hero or something crazy. That that might actually say save us. And it's Francescoli, a hero card. Just what we need. 88 rated. Let's go. Do you know what? If I adjust our players, I'll put Francescoli over here, improve the bench a little bit. And did you see the rating go up, up to an 86? If we get a good play in the final pick, this might actually be an 87 rated squad. All right, boys, let's see. It all depends on this. And oh, it's a Brazilian icon. This could literally save us. We're, we're going for it. Absolutely. And it's Garincha, 92 rated. My goodness. Ah, but it only puts us up up to an 86. I'm trying to adjust the squad and just move in good players and everything. Putting Ben White in the team. High rated players in the starting 11. And unfortunately, the best possible rating we could achieve is 86. Ah, that's annoying. And since we failed our first attempt of drafting an 87 rated squad, I'm opening this ultimate team pack and whatever I get, I'm still gonna have to discard it. For once, please don't give me anything good. Oh no. Barcelona? I knew it was gonna be Barcelona. Please don't be Aitana Bonmati or something. Okay, it's Pedri. Huh, that's that's okay. And that means, yup, this entire pack. Ooh, Saliba's a good one. But yup, it's being discarded. There you go, gone. Attempt number two, and we are gonna get an 87 rated foot draft. And for that, I'm gonna pick 4-3-3 attack as our formation. Okay, once again for the captain, we get an icon Brazilian. And of course, I'm pretty sure that is Erling Haaland. This could be, I don't know, Alex Morgan maybe? But it'd be stupid not to go for the Brazilian icon because of the rating. Okay, I was wrong in both instances, but Zico is most definitely the player we're going for. Let's go. 92 rating to start with is just what we need. I'm picking our striker next and I'm hoping for a big one and I 
not too sure, man. This could be Leon Bailey. English, I'm, I'm hopeful of Harry Kane. Do you know what? I'm gonna go English just because I have a sneaky feeling it could be Kane because Nigeria could mean Osman. So if Osman's in this round, Kane could be too. Oh, I was wrong once again. But hey, at least we picked the highest rated player. That's kind of helpful. I'm picking my sentiment next. Ooh, these picks don't look all that exciting, but English and there's some sort of a special flair around this card. I think this is the one we should go for. Let's go, boys. It's Jude Bellingham. That is crazy luck. We need players like this. Come on, Jude Bellingham in our second attempt. Do you know what? While our luck's going crazy, I think let's pick the reserves first because that really helped us in the last draft. Come on, let's get some big boy high-rated players in the reserves and we do get one. Let's go. Portuguese, that's got to be Eusebio. It is Eusebio. We get him once again. That is absolutely perfect. Bro, this is looking like the draft. We're going to get that 87 rating. If you want a high-rated draft, pick your reserves first and that's worked really well for us. But here, yeah, I'm really... Really unsure what to pick. English has been kind to us so far. Portuguese could be Ronaldo, but I think this is going to be a stinky pick. Let's just go with English. Oh, uh, imagine I would have been a bit brave, gone Dutch. Depay would have been nice, but we'll take Rico Henry. Who do I choose from this round? I don't even know what flag that is. French is an option. English is there. Brazil. Uh, English kind of let me down last time, so I'm going to go Brazil. Okay, these all have let me down. This is where it's crumbling. Come on, next pick's got to be decent, boys. It's got to be decent. Do you know what? I normally haven't been going Dutch. Maybe this time it'll give us a bit of luck. Bro, what is this? We're not getting an 87 rated for draft. I don't want to keep discarding ultimate packs. Okay, this time looks a bit interesting. This has got to be Kvicha. Like, it can't be anyone else. Norwegian? Different card design. That's tempted me. Oh, but do I then just go English? Bro, this looks like a pretty cool card. Like, can you can you see a little bit of an outline? Let's go with English, sure. I have a sneaky feeling this could be big. Oh, Jack Grealish, but if I would have gone Hansen, we would have had a 91 rated player but hey can't complain i knew this was creature but we'll take jack Grealish for now that's that's okay at least he's 88 rated that gives us a little bit of breathing room back to the first team and we're picking our right winger Ooh, okay okay a brazilian icon i don't know what card this is but i think it'd be silly not to go for the brazilian icon bro this is crazy and yup it's jezinho absolutely perfect but you know what if i was a little bit more brave we could have taken hansen so that would have been even better but Casino, not too bad. We'll pick him. Not too worried about the left winger because we've already got Grealish on the bench, but another good player would be nice. I'm thinking, let's go Portuguese. Yeah, this was an L, but I can just put Jack Grealish in there and we're sorted. That first team is unreal. Do you know what? I'm feeling something good in the center back positions. Let's see what we get. Interesting for sure. This could be Koulibaly, you know. I've got a sneaky feeling. Maybe this could be Romero then. I'm not sure. Should I just go Dutch? Maybe a Delic? Yeah, I'm gonna go Dutch. Oh my my god, it's BVD. Bro, the luck. We would have literally been stuck with Otamendi or Niakate, but the luck's crazy. We get BVD. That's what we need to get an 87 rated draft. Come on, we gotta keep this up with our other center back, man. This is perfect. Oh, this looks like a special card. Colombian could be that Machado guy. Do you know what? I'm not taking a chance here. I think this is the best one to go for. Oh, it's it is kind of the best one. Vera, we will take him. 83 rated, not bad. Guys, I'm gonna go to the bench now and make some picks. Hopefully, that'll give us some luck because we've got the first team so far looking pretty darn incredible need some big boy picks on the bench and okay i've got to go uruguayan here it's a hero card it's probably francesco or someone yep i knew it i absolutely knew it we'll take that an 88 rated player for the bench is huge let's see if we can keep that up with another big one this is looking like a stinky one let's just go dutch oh it's still pretty high rated we'll take a 83 gakpo i'll take that for the bench absolutely question is who are we getting next need need to get a bit more luck. This could be Lewandowski. Probably not. We'll go French. Okay, 84 DRB. We're striking the good ones. Even with the bad picks, we'll take a DRB. Ooh, that's a Japanese icon. If I'm not wrong, that's a Japanese icon. But how high rated would he or she be? It could be Nakata and that would be a complete L. Do I go for this? Nah, well, we'll stick with the icon. Oh, and I'm glad we did because we just got 91 Sawa. That's huge. That is honestly huge for rating. I think we're going to have to really bottle it terribly to not get the 87 rating on this draft. Let's get back to the first team and pick the fullbacks. Come on, we need good fullbacks, man. French? Uh, I don't trust any of these, man. We'll go French. I think we've got stinky fullbacks. Fallen Mendy in a bad pick. Oh, that is perfect, boys. Let's go. What are we saying for the right back? Oh, an icon. That's got to be Zanetti. Argentinian Zanetti has to be. And it is. Let's go. This time, we're easily smashing 87. 
We might even go higher than that, bro, because this team's looking crazy. Do you know what? Let's calm down. Still got a couple more positions. I'm thinking midfielder next. Come on, come on. Be a good one. Be a good one. Uh, that could be Luka Modric. That's why I'm going to go Croatia, because I think it might be Luka Modric. See? I knew it. I freaking knew it, it was Luka Modric. Let's go. Because I can just put Sawa in the starting 11, and I've got an 87 Luka Modric on the bench. This team is already 86, and we haven't even picked our goalkeeper, so let's do it. Come on, come on. Need a big keeper as well. These are good nations, but because Mexico's in there, I think this is Ochoa. We'll, we'll go French. No, actually, there's only McNan, who's super high rated in France. Spain don't really have crazy high rated keepers. This could be Donnarumma, but nah, we'll go France. Oh, that's, that's an L. Samba's an L. No, but we're still 88 rated, bro. We're way higher than the 87 we needed. Three picks. No way we're bottling this. Come on, who could be high rated over here? I'm thinking, gotta pick German, because this is a goalkeeper pick. Let's, let's, let's go with the middle German one and see if it gives us a bit of luck. Oh, no, it doesn't. We're gonna have a stinky goalkeeper for this team, but we're still 88 rated, and we've got two picks left. I'm putting Gakpo on the bench just to boost the rating. Come on, we need a couple of decent picks and we're sorted. This could be Akanji if I'm not wrong. Maybe this is uh, Romero or Tamendi. That would be decently rated. Ooh, this is like an inform card, I think. Let let's go with this. Oh no, it's a special card. We'll take it. 83 rated Machado. Give me that and we're still 88 rated with one pick to go. Surely we can't bottle this. Come on, let's end off on a high with a crazy player. That's that's the dream. Oh, this, could this has to be Robertson. This has to be Robertson and I'm so confident I'm gonna go with it. Oh, come on. It's Tierney. But hey, highest rated player among this lot. And we have maintained the 88 overall. Let's go. And that means in our second attempt, we've built a foot draft by just looking at the nations. <sighs> I don't have to discard another ultimate pack. My bank account has been saved. And if you enjoyed this video, why not watch me build the most hated team in the world? Click here to watch that.